Hey everybody, this is Pandora Will here, and I thought I'd make a quick uh, tutorial on how to make a text intro for a video, such as YouTube videos. Uh, today I'll be using Blender, which is a free program that you can get online, um, and it's pretty awesome. You can do all kinds of things in it um, regarding physics and animation, um, and today I will animate an intro for you and show you how to do it. So this is the default scene in Blender. You got your camera up here your cube and your light source. Now to click on these you want to make sure you're right clicking. So I will right click on my cube and hit delete on my keyboard and this little prompt will pop up and I'll hit enter to delete that. You can also hit X and that'll also bring up that prompt to delete. And now I will hit spacebar and type add text and hit, hit enter. Now you'll see that text has been added and it literally says text. So I will hit tab and then delete text and um, write whatever I want. I'll just say intro. Um, and then I will hit tab again to get out of the edit mode. And now I want my text to be more 3D. Um, so I will go over here to this tab. It's an F and that is all the text settings that you need to use. Um, right here you can see that it says extrude so if you take this bar and you can extrude it as much as you want. Now personally I like to go around point 0.2 so if you just click on it um, it'll go up in incrementally or you can just um, type in the size you want. So I use point 0.2 it's it's pretty beefy but not too big where it's annoying or a hindrance to everything. Um, so now I got my text and that's pretty much how I want it. I mean I can mess with these set settings over here like um, under bevel I could change the depth um, and you can see it just makes it all crazy. Um, I usually have a little bit just because it, it bevels the edges or kind of smooths or rounds them out. Um, Let's see how that's looking. That looks pretty fine. Um, resolution. Um, I believe that's when it, it renders. Um, it just makes it a little more higher quality, but it can also slow down your render time. Um, Alright, that's, that's pretty good as far as the text goes. Um, so now, I guess, I will kind of set up my scene how I want it. So... I think r right now I'm going to rotate my text so it's not laying down but standing up. So I'm just going to hit R to bring up this rotation screen and then I will hit X because I want it to rotate along the X and now you can see that that um, the line there is lit up um, and then I will type 90 and it will rotate 90 degrees. So now it's standing up. Um, my camera's over here but I'll, I'll move that so what we have right here is fine. Now what I want to do is kind of create a floor and a, uh, I guess I'll start with a floor. So I'll hit add and then plane. And then you can see this plane appears and I'll just hit S and slide out to scroll it. Um, that's, I'll make it a little bigger. There, that should be fine. Um, of course, however you do your text and how you animate it will depend on your scene and how big you want everything to be. Um, but this will work with what I'm going for. So now, um, I'll just delete this camera because it's easier for me to do that. I'll hit delete. And then I will hit, let's see, one on my numpad and that's the front and that happens to be where this is. So now I'll just hit add camera oops add camera and go down to camera now my camera is facing exactly the direction I want it but I'll just slide it out so it's it actually focuses on my text um, I'll go up let's see I hit zero just line it up um, if you got your screen right here highlighted you can just hit G to relocate the camera to center the text a little better and now I will hit F12 to render it to see how it looks. Um, 
that's pretty cool I mean very simple I haven't really done anything yet to edit it but as is I mean that would be pretty cool if you have nothing I'll hit F11 to get out um, let's see let's um, adjust the world settings because I don't know if you saw it in my render the world back there is gray and I'll just change that I'm not too uh, thrilled with it so I will go over here to this world setting um, I will go down to the horizon color and I will change that from gray to black now if I hit F12 I mean the text kinda just fades into the writing you can't or the the background you can't see what's going on but we'll change that um, we can change that several ways um, one way is just to move our light source and I'll just move it in front of the text and see what happens with that. That's kind of cool. Um, or I could do this. I will click on my my text intro, and I'll go over to this little globe thing. And uh, if you hover over, the material will pop up, and I'll just add a new material. And I'm gonna change the color to um, blue more of my favorite color you can use whatever color you want um, there's no, no problem with that and I will change the emit value up um, I'll use 200 and you can see in this box up here your color changes because now it's emitting light so the final product you may have to adjust on the color depending on what you want it to be um, that'll be fine um, next I'll go back to the world settings where we were before and I will go down to indirect lighting and I'll check that box and scroll down and hit approximate and now hit F12 and you see what that does um, that makes our text glow and it looks like I left our light source in um, so I kinda want to get rid of that because it's ruining the scene right now so I'll just um, right click on that delete okay and I'll hit F12 now you can see that our intro is glowing and that's pretty awesome now there's a lot of things I could do from here um, to make my intro a little cooler I could animate my camera um, and I'll show you kind of what that looks like right away um, I guess I'll just make it pretty simple. Um, let's see, right here. So I have it zoomed in, and you'll see why. I'll hit Object, Animation, Insert Keyframe. And then I'll just hit Location, Rotation right here. And so now that's my starting f point for my video sequence. All right, so next I will go and pick my next keyframe. Um, to do this, I'll just select the hundredth frame, and then I'll move my camera to our, where I want it at the hundredth frame. Um, whoops! And right there should be fine. And now I will insert another keyframe. I can do this just by hitting I, um, and going to location, rotation, scale. Um, that's just a shortcut from going to object to animation to insert keyframe. Um, so now I inserted my second keyframe. So I'll just go back to the beginning of the vid video and then I'll hit play and now that's how our intro is um if I were to render it it'd be high quality um the whole thing would look like this except for it'd be doing its zoom in thing um and that's a simple way to make an intro um so let's say that's how I wanted it you could you can animate it however you want having your camera um go in between the letters and all that stuff or whatever you want you can um, do more advanced stuff like having your text like explode and that kind of stuff um, and if you want to see how to do that I'm uh, more than willing to make a tutorial for that just leave a message or a comment and I can uh, definitely hook you up with that um, so let's say our intro is done the way we want it and now we're gonna render it for a video so we can use Vegas Pro or whatever video editor you have um, to make your YouTube videos and so you can add it into the beginning of your video um, so we'll go to this camera tab up here and then um, scroll down 
and you can adjust your frames per second. Um, for an intro like this, I would probably just use 30 frames a second. Um, that rate usually produces some decent quality videos, um, and because it's just a, a few second long intro, you don't need anything more than uh, 30 frames per second. Um, then you can also screw down further. And the next thing we want to adjust is your folder location. Um, click on that. I usually, when I first render my videos, I'll render them to my desktop so they're easily located. They're just right there on my desktop and then I can just go into uh, Vegas Pro and easily transport it into the program or whatever. So I usually do desktop. You select whatever you want for your file location. Um, and then pretty important step is to adjust your file type. Um, if you leave it at PNG, um, you'll just render a whole bunch of photographs or um, still images. <laughs> and that's not going to work if you wanted to make a video. Um, so you should change your settings so that it's um, either an AVI RAW file format or MPEG. Um, Honestly, I just use AVI RAW. It's a program that, or it's a file type that a lot of programs recognize. Um, so that's my suggestion right there. So you would just select that. Um, and then you scroll back to the top, and then you click animation right here. And in doing so, uh, you'll start to render your animation. Thanks for watching. This has been a tutorial on how to make an intro by Pandora Will.